Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's edition of programming users. Today we are going to look at something quite brief, uh, quite simple. We want to see uh, how to retrieve data from a database and uh, display in MySQL. Uh, how to retrieve data from a MySQL database and display in command uh, in console. This is what I'm talking about. You can see when I run it, uh, you can see uh, it's fetching this particular data from the database. The reason why you are using console is that you want to simplify everything uh, for beginners, okay? Today's tutorial is mainly for beginners. We want it to be as simple as possible. So guys, I uh, welcome get started. Now guys, we shall be starting from scratch. First and foremost, please create your project. I've already created mine, right? Here is my uh, class, uh, public class. I've just called it command line. Now what we're going to do, uh, before we get, uh, we come to our code please we have to set up our uh, we have to set up uh, our mysql connection using the connector right so yeah just right click your project and then create a new folder uh, just create a new folder in your project uh, mine have called libs then paste your mysql connector over there if you're not sure of how to, uh, what to do uh, how to get mysql connector go to mysql website right go to my school website uh, download my school connector install it in your machine now once you've installed it in your machine uh, in your prog C program files uh, you shall find a folder known as my school connector j you can see this is my f my school connector j folder right uh, come inside that folder uh, you shall find my school connector java right there now copy paste that one I bring it to the folder uh, that I told you to create in your libs paste it right there once you've pasted it uh, d right click your project go to the properties uh, in your properties come to java build path then uh, in your java build path uh, click add uh, jazz right click add jazz uh, it shall take you to your project uh, for me I've already added mine but for you you shall see uh, the libs folder right there then uh, select that mysql connector then click ok then ok again right here uh, it shall be registered right there now uh, after that one we shall now come uh, here is our main class uh, our main class shall have our main method right now uh, what we are going to do we are going to separate uh, the database work from the uh, main class so come here we create a class known as uh, db class no it's a class right it's a class no db class now this class shall be responsible for our connection so first i shall create a connection string so say uh, string con string equal to jdbc my sql right then a uh, stroke um, localhost then the port is 3306 this is normally the default port for my school so uh, if you've not changed those just leave it right that way then uh, your database name my database name is known as players db that's my database name uh, after that one uh, come we also come and create another string username for me it shall be root root is normally the default one for my SQL if you've not changed was leave it as root another one uh, password mine is blank is normally the default one for my SQL and again if you've not changed it just write it blank that way now for that one we shall uh, define a method public void uh, get data this method shall connect to the database and retrieve for us our data please make it public because we shall call it from the main method in the main class then uh, what we're going to do next uh, is that we're going to uh, define our SQL statement so please uh, type uh, select asterisk uh, from players uh, tb now take note that this is players tb this is players db players tb is the table name so write there your table name now after that particular statement uh, inside the try catch block uh, we shall 
uh, write our uh, connection okay our code to connect and retrieve data we shall do it inside a tray catch block because you know uh, this is database and with database uh, things can go wrong somebody can delete the database the connection may be um, off it can time out or anything right so uh, we just have to do it uh, inside the uh, con block ins inside the try catch block i mean sorry now uh, there we shall have uh, x uh, dot print stack trees now what we shall do here first we shall get our connection we shall get our connection uh, we shall just um, use the connection uh, instance so say connection con equal to a driver manager driver manager dot get connection dot get connection if I type it right driver manager uh, dot get connection then inside there uh, we shall pass first uh, we shall pass our connection string so con string then after our connection string the username and of course the password now this one all this one shall return for us at uh, the con object now it's that con object uh, that we shall use to connect okay then uh, we shall create our prepared statement so uh, come and say uh, statement statement main i'll just call it s equal to con dot uh, prepared statement con dot prepare statement right then uh, inside there we shall pass the sql uh, statement after that one uh, we shall also uh, create our result set result set java dot sql dot result set main i'll just call rs then equal to a statement dot execute query once more uh, we pass our sql statement once we've done that one uh the next thing uh, the only thing now remaining is to loop through um, our result set uh, getting all the data right and displaying now come and say while rs which is our result set object dot next this next is a boolean actually it shall be returning true if in case there is a record remaining okay so once it reaches the last one of course it shall return false uh, but uh, well, well uh, as it loops through we shall now be picking the data so say string name equal to rs result set dot get string now uh, using the get string method we only need to pass uh, the integer uh, or the number the integer for that particular column for instance if your column is column 10 pass over there 10 the particular column that you want to display then uh, after that one system dot out dot print ln now there what shall I print? I'll just print uh, the name, right? And that's it. Now, uh, guys, we shall come uh, to our main method. And here, what we do? Simply, we instantiate our DB class. DB class DB equal to new DB class. Then uh, we call our get data method. that one uh, that's enough now we can just run our program and see so guys here you can see uh, we've successfully retrieved our data from the mysql database we've displayed them uh, in the uh, in the console okay so guys hope you've learned something please if you have uh, we have other tutorials you can proceed to the next uh, probably for now uh, to show you how to uh, display probably in a J table or in a J list. Uh, these are upcoming tutorials. We shall also d uh, 
we shall also uh, teach them right here at programming users so please if you want to be part of this uh, subscribe to this channel you will receive uh, you will continue receiving such type of uh, tutorials like this video comment we would like to hear from you guys and please share it with friends and family take care see you next time